Hello everyone, and welcome back to my complete career run through in Kerbal Space Program 0.23, where I'm eager to get things done because we seem to be ready to get 0.24 soon. So I definitely want to complete my complete career run through of 0.23 by at least completing the tech tree and uh, do that before 0.24 comes out because I'll certainly want to pick up with that. Now, where we left off was with Lambda 4 in this uh, severely inclined orbit, and that's not going to help us at all. Even though our target Moho is inclined, it's inclined in totally a different way, and not that that would help. Uh, not that this would help anyway, because this this just complicates things. So we need to straighten out the orbit of Lambda, and I noticed that Lambda 4, even though it's not a lander, is classified as a lander here because it's got the lander can. Whereas our actual lander on Duna, with Jeb still in it, is classified as a ship. That's funny. Anyway, so uh, let's jump to Lambda 4 and correct this inclination. Now, with, uh, with this inclination adjustment, the reason I want to do it up front first is because I want to know how much fuel I need to bring up to this to fill her up. And so yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Now, in order to fix the inclination, we will target the moon because the moon has a zero inclination with respect to Kerbin. And then we will see... Okay, I want to do it at the higher node. This seems to be the lower node, so I, I want to do it from here. The higher node will be uh, will cost less. Actually, let's see that. Let's say I will get the number for... Let's say I get the number for the other one, since I think that this one is the less efficient node. I mean, there could be an Oberth effect issue here. I'm thinking that this will, what I'm saying is still correct, but maybe I'm wrong because of the Oberth effect. Let's see. Okay, so let's say we get within, let's say we get within one degree is fine. Um, so that's 590 from here. And let's do it from here. Might be just the same, that'd be funny. Uh, no, I think I've overshot, have I? Yeah, I did. Let's get it to within point 0.8, just like the other one. Okay, so there we go, point 0.8. And, uh, it's not that big a difference. It's like 18 meters per second difference, but I'll take that. That's still fuel that we could use. Ah, that's interesting. Because the the inclination change will boost our orbit a little bit, because it adds energy to the orbit. And let's see what orientation that gives us. Um, we want to head this way. But then by the time... well, it will still be this way, relative to Kerbin's orbit, I think. I don't know how the orbit actually changes as we move around the sun. I don't know whether it follows us or not. Anyway, this is a good orientation. Having the apoapsis here is a good thing. Uh, if we were to burn right... No, wait a minute. Yeah, if we were to burn right now. But we're not going to burn right now because we also have to time it for Moho. Anyway, let's stop talking, or at least uh, I'll talk while I do the maneuver. So yeah, uh, the Moho transfer has to be done when Kerbin is about 110 degrees ahead of Moho. Or, if you'd like, Moho is... where is my maneuver node? Moho is uh, 251 degrees behind Kerbin. Okay. So, let's see how much this costs us. Uh, this will be a long burn, so catch you on the other side of it. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's see. Yeah, it's... Oh, no. Wait, that could be the node. Uh, oh, okay. Let's get within one, like I said. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. Everything looks clean. Alright, so I think we can launch to it. Uh, but... 
Well, I guess we'll put the spacecraft together first, uh, get it refueled and get the lander up, and then time warp in or well, hmm. Yeah, I guess that yeah, I guess that'd make more sense. Uh, well, no, I guess maybe we should time warp uh, time warp now to where Moho transfer would occur. Actually, that might be interesting because then we can plot it before sending everything up, uh, just to see that the transfer works out. Okay, so so what I'm gonna do is transfer to one of our flags because that's the way to do it. So I'm gonna transfer to one of the flags and then time warp till Moho is in the right place. So here we are, Mirman in the Midlands, the very first flag we planted on the moon, I think. So, but we've got a lot more now, as you can see, five of them. Uh, one for Merman, uh, four for Bill. And what we need is Moho to be 110 degrees behind curve. I mean, okay, 251 this way, 110 this way, all right? So uh, you can figure out a 90 degree angle here, and it's a little bit more than that, somewhere like around here is what I'm looking for. And it won't take Moho too long to get to that because it's got a quick orbit. I'm gonna reach for my protractor. Hold it up to the screen because I don't trust my eyesight to figure this out really. Um, it looks like we're about 120 now. And really you should probably not trust your eyesight to figure out these angles. I've had bad experiences with that. Okay. That definitely looks like 110. Now, let's let's jump back to our spacecraft and see if this really is the right timing cuz if it's not, well, maybe we should send the missions up anyway. Yeah, let's go back to the space center and send the missions up and we have if we have to retime it then that's fine. So refueling mission and lander. Maybe we can do both at the same time. We need about three of those uh, nine-ton fuel tanks, and that should fill her up. I think we could probably put three of them and the lander onto our lander rocket. Let's t uh, go to VAB and take a look. Okay, so here's our lander rocket, and the first thing I should probably do is save it as a subassembly. So let's do that. So lander launcher. Uh, description, well, my God, say that this uh, capability is, and that's 27 there, that's another, well, these are like, so 5, 30, 2, 36, let's say. I think uh, it's fair to claim, I don't know, 40 is pushing it. Let me say 36 tons to LKO. Okay. Alright, so that's that launcher. Now, um, I'm also, well, I, I think I could stack a bunch of fuel tanks without any problems. So let's load up the lander that we used. So we have all our ships here, and uh, it was the Pi lander, right? So here's the Pi on this launcher, but Maybe we can uh, save ourselves some trouble and instead use the Lambda Launcher. So, so basically we can take it from here, dump this stuff. Now we need, I want this reaction wheel because we're going to need it. We're going to need three of these fuel tanks. Well, we can uh, get one of these. I'm going to want some monopropellant, but not too much. Just two will do. I need a docking port. And I, oh, I need, oh, but then it's remote controlled. Oh, I can't do a remote control mission. I was going to undock, the, uh, well, if we just leave it floating around and then try and dock with it, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's try that first, and then if I can't dock with it for some reason, because I'm just being derpy or something. Um, so, I, I won't actually control it. There won't be any remote control. I'm going to try and get the tug to dock with it. Or, I could use this part to maneuver it into docking, dock with it, and then decouple. Hmm. That we could do. Yeah, that would, that would make more sense. Alright, yeah, let's do that. 
So this is actually going to be a tug pushing this fuel canister to the tug. Uh, that makes that that makes good sense. All right. Uh, so let's let's do put RCS on this part part here to help things out and also uh, some rockets so that uh, it's not all all pathetic. Um, So like so, it's gonna guzzle a lot of RCS pretty quickly, but remember we've got a lot of RCS with the thing anyway. So we're gonna need a docking port, and we're gonna need it on this side obviously, since we're going to be turning it like that. And perhaps for thrust, we don't need too much of it, we just need a little bit. We should aim it like that, because this is going to be the side that's going to be leading off. We're going to be uh, controlling from here, rather than controlling from up there, technically speaking. So it'll be heading in this way. I don't know. Seems like it should, should work, but, you know, things can happen. Otherwise, this looks pretty solid. I don't see why the launcher can't carry this up. So this will be the fuel unit, and then uh, this will dock with uh, dock this to the tug. This will detach and la uh, dock to the other side of the tug, and then this will be discarded once this fuel is em uh, shoved into the tug. All right. Mm, I think that's my plan. Here's the launcher. And I believe some struts are in order. Always amusing when the struts don't want to go on one of the sides. Hmm. I think I might just have to deal with that. I'm gonna be extra careful with this, so let's let's just not spare on the struts this time. Sorry for those people who view this as an eyesore, but uh, we need to get this up safe. Mm, checking staging, that looks fine. Those decouple, those activate. No, those don't activate at that point. Let's activate here. That should be interesting. We have enough power. Oh, uh, we need to change the lander's lights, right? I think uh, that was the thing. These lights... And these lights should be switched around, right? Okay. So that's our plan. This is now Lambda 5. Lambda. And we'll have a pie lander on it as well. And this still... Yeah, I guess that is right. Um... Real nervous, trying to get to Moho. All right, let's try it out. Save, launch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Crew, we don't want Bill again. I think, who's my favorite? Well, Merman Kerman, right? I mean, if we're gonna have a fourth person to get all the glory, I guess it's gonna be Merman. He's gotta catch up with, um, with uh, Bill after Bill's escapade. But then, I don't really like any of the other names quite as much as I like. I mean, Wildred comes close, but uh, Merman Kerman, gotta love that. All right, now let's launch. Okay, so here we go. Throttle up. This should be much more than this launch need uh, can bear. So, I mean, not much less than this launch can bear. So it should be fine. Uh, shall we? I guess we could time warp 
for a little bit to get it into the right position and perhaps get on the bright side too. Yeah, we're we're pretty close to the bright side, so let's let's just get a little bit of time warping in. I mean, of course, we've got lights on the vehicle still, but I'll let it go around one more time. Let's do that. Okay. And I'm going to say right about here. And don't usually do this, so I don't know exactly where. But I'm going to say there should be fine. And we're all nice and bright now. Physics has not killed us. F3 looks clear. And our throttle is still up. Our electric charge is still good. And Merman Kerman is off. So, we want to try and get to Lambda 4. Let's just flatten out. Okay, so uh, here we see that we're going to be coming in a little bit behind. I'm taking a look at my descending node as usual. Alright, that's that stage, and we should be in orbit. Yeah. Alright, now let's do fine tuning. Alright, we'll take that rendezvous. Gonna have to change control though, which means I have to do a lot of turning. All right. I do love these little guys though. Not the most efficient rockets, but very nice thrust to weight ratio. I don't think that's good use of RCS. All right, so that's enough. All right, let's go around the planet and get to our rendezvous. So far, so good. We'll even be rendezvousing on the bright side of the planet. Always a uh, plus. Even with lights. I think I just saw our target. There it is. So let's turn to negative relative velocity vector. Wherever that might be. Okay, this side. Alright, so we need to come in on the big docking port end of the Lambda 4. And it's about time to cut our velocity. From here on I think it's fair to use RCS. We've got we brought it along for a reason, so CS on. Okay, there she is. And well, let's get to docking speeds. Uh, 
And actually, let's correct that a little bit. Even though it's jittering like crazy. Alright, what we really want is... Can we target the stocking port? Yes. Alright, so that leads to a certain amount of adjustment. And let's get uh, that side lined up. There we go. Oh, control from the wrong end. Ha ha ha. Control from here. There we go. Nice and bright. Okay, yeah, that's a good orientation. Okay, let's jump back to the other end. Set target again. Okay, that's us docked. And now let's actually shut this one down and this one down and I won't transfer the fuel yet let me get this uh, lander docked to the front end first so uh, make sure everything is all right uh, mystery goo is fine yeah uh, how about the monopropellant that's fine we should have full fuel all right uh, throttle is down let's see this is fine okay decouple Okay, uh, we want to be here and... Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Let's move free. But then also not go too far off. Open this shield. Alright, now... This one is drifting off. Gonna take RCS off. I'm gonna switch to the other one and let's see if we can flip this one around. Um, without knocking the other one. I don't know exactly what it's rotate. I guess it's rotational axis is around this SAS unit. Uh, that might not be the best place for it though. And I think we have enough clearance. All right, excellent, excellent. A uh, bit of wiggling, but let's go over to the other end. And same story. Right, let's save it more like this. And hope that our side can stop wiggling. Um, maybe if we can target this, set us target. It's better if they're further out, honestly. But all right. Right. So. Forward power. Looks pretty lined up, and it should be. I mean, it's not like we were too far off in the first place. All right, brilliant. Now, resources. Let's transfer this stuff over, shall we? Uh, there's uh, These are all single tanks. All right, then let me... Oh, well, whatever. Let's just go for it. So I'll catch you once I've finished all the transfer. Okay, so this tank is has a little bit left over. This tank is dry. The mop pillin tanks are dry. And I think that's it for this module. This part is full up. We didn't use any fuel from this portion. 
So yeah, uh, let's get rid of it. Undock. And now this can't be controlled anyway. And I also want to fix up our staging here. Very important. Okay, uh, these are still active. Very good. Just thinking over things. And uh, control from here, right. Alright, I guess that's fine. So if we're controlling from the right location right now, if I give a little burst of the engines... Yes. Alright, so... So yeah, looks like we're ready to go for Moho. Let's let's try and make a plot for it, huh? We are oriented this way, set Moho as a target. Hopefully all of our maneuvering did not take too long. And we're going to start off from over here. Burn out. Let's try and line it up with our outgoing all right, and then burn more, 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 more. Really, on the opposite side of the orbit? No, 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 this is not going very well. Okay, I think I did that wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not the right place for Moho. <laughs> well, I guess that's obvious right now. It must be positive 110. It must be... Moho has to be 110 ahead. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I calculated it wrong. A negative 251 degrees means positive 110 degrees, which means Moho has to be 110 ahead. Right. All right. You guys are going to be sitting in orbit for a while. Good thing you're in a nice, stable orbit. Uh... Hopefully this, well, it's all on rails, so it shouldn't come crashing into you or anything. As I go to the flag, and once again, time warp a bit. Well, good thing I don't have any cruise support module in this, otherwise I'd be really in pain right now. But, as it is, we don't have to worry about how long we leave our Kerbals in orbit, or on Duna for that matter, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Jeb. But, uh, yeah, let's just time warp and get Moho into a better location. Really tough to tell the angle like this because it's got such an eccentric orbit, too. I think that's about 90. Protractor, even the protractor, it's just sort of a little bit skewed, the whole thing. Alright. Alright, I'd say about there, actually. That should be fine. Hopefully we'll get better results now. Let's go back to our mission. Not to the moon. Uh, it would be Lambda 4, right? Okay, focus on Kerbin. This is not the tricky part of getting to Moho. The tricky part of getting to Moho is slowing down once you're there. That is the really crazy part. Okay, well, we're pretty darn close to it. Well, okay, not really. Seven degrees. Oh, I'm aiming for Eve, what the heck. Not my morning. There we go. <laughs> An even counter. Okay, I hope I wasn't looking at the wrong column here. No? I don't want an even counter.
Okay, at least we've got these sorts of things going on for us. Let's see what the separation is. Wow, about 3 million kilometers. It's very far off. But we can uh, twist this a little bit. Let's see if this gets us any better. Or loses us entirely. Yeah, it loses it entirely. No, 2.25 million? Okay. So this is the right way to go. So it's just a rinse and repeat of trying to first toggle that one and then fix this no difference. Okay. I think the best thing to do would be to toggle the blue ones here now. So what were we at? 73? Oh wait, I saw it. There we are. Whew. Okay, uh, 2 point... Yeah, 2,900 kilometers. 31 days. Alright, not too bad. Okay. Uh, oh, this this actually gives the delta V for this maneuver, thousand two hundred. It's a lot. No mistake about it. And we're gonna have to burn a lot once we get there. There's no atmosphere at Moho for us to air break. We need to, and the difference in delta V's gotta be huge. Truly humongous. Hmm. All right. I have not done uh, in I've trusted that we've got a lot of Delta V in this thing and I hope it's enough to do the whole mission but but it's still a tricky business a little bit of wiggling on that docking port too that's disconcerting now this burn is gonna take us a long time how long I think we should just better start now. Yeah, it should be fine. I do not know whether this is the best way to go with the huge plane change in the middle. I know it can't be the best way to go. That is a massive plane change I have to deal with. 1,203, that's just not fair. <sighs> Alright. So yeah, catch you on the other side of this burn. Okay, we're coming close to the end of our burn. Uh, we've used quite a lot of fuel. I mean, in these tanks, uh, I've basically emptied one of the one of the tanks we're talking about here. Yeah, more than one of the tanks. Let's see what our situation is. Really, I think uh, I think that should be it, right? I mean, this sun periapsis is 5249, this is 5204. But then again, I don't want to mess with the maneuver too much because it's tough getting into Moho. So I guess I'll just burn to the limit and uh, trust the maneuver for now. Nah, if I have to correct uh, by this much, that'll be fine. We have to conserve our our efforts here. All right, so uh, this one's a thousand two hundred. I want to see if I can. You know, it looks like uh, it doesn't look like that helps at all. Okay, um, can we mitigate this at all? No, it's even worse. Wow.
Let me see what I can do at this end to fix that. Can we... Because I'm properly worried now. See, the problem is the ascending node and descending node are like 90 degrees from where we are, so we can't do anything about the inclination right now. Basically 1,500 now. Well, what can I do? We might have to send a separate refueling mission uh, to the tug in order to make sure it has the fuel to bring this back. I hope we have enough fuel to slow down once we get to Moho. That's a totally separate issue. So we're looking at, I mean, uh, it's just uh, 3,000 to get there now. I'm definitely doing this wrong somehow. Or really, maybe it's just uh, I didn't take the inclination into account and that's a bigger toll than I thought it would be. Alright, so see you in the Sun Sphere of Influence. Alright, while we're here, I want to try out some of the experiments. I don't know which ones we've done in the Sun Sphere of Influence and which ones we haven't. This is not a very good way for me to get at the instruments on the lander though. Okay, so let's say... Have we done a goo before? Uh, no recovery 110 science. Must want to keep data then. Seismic isn't going to give us anything. I'm not even going to bother. Log temperature can't be done. How about uh, gravioli? Gravioli can be. Wow. 220. Keep that data. And uh, barometer. Right. Um... Have we done an EVA before? Let's have Bob EVA. He must be getting really cramped in there. Oh no, we shouldn't have Bob EVA. He's not coming back on this mission. Let's have Merman EVA after all. High over the sun, 88. Okay, keep the data. All right. All right, so uh, I think that's all we can do right now. Let's, oh, because of the EVA, we lost our maneuver node. Not like I want to see it anyway, but come on you. Okay, so let's head out to there, do this horrible burn, try and do our best to get to Moho. Should be close enough. Let's just start burning now. And I'll see you at the end of this burn. Okay, so here we are coming up on the end of our burn and we've used more than half of our fuel and that's including the fuel in the lander. And if we had already gotten to Moho, that would be fine, but we haven't gotten to Moho Orbit yet. Let me get rid of this maneuver node and just use... Hopefully we're gonna get an encounter at some point. We need to get low into Moho because, of course, we're gonna be doing landing operations. And that looks about as low as we're gonna get. All right. Uh, would it be different doing the experiments here, or are we going to be talking about the same thing? Let me just uh, review the data that we got from that. Okay, it's high over the sun. i got to keep that, but uh, let's see if we get something different here. No, we're still high over the sun. Okay. I don't know how close we have to get to the sun before we're low over the sun, but maybe if we're in within Moho's orbit? Let's see what happens. I don't even like the fact that we're getting within Moho's orbit. That means it wasn't a very good transfer at all. But uh, let's see now. Still high over the sun. Alright, so uh, we're not going to get any closer than this to the 
to the sun. We we'll just have to do more experiments at Moho. Alright, uh, see you at Moho Sphere of Influence.